doctor. Our next speaker will be Dan Pfefferman, President of the International Coalition for Religious Freedom. Please join me in welcoming him, welcoming him back. Thank you. It's an honor for me to be here at this rally for religious freedom, spiritual freedom, for the practitioners of Falun Gong in China. I'm very glad to follow my colleague Su Vaughn of the Freedom House, which was the first human rights organization in the United States. So I see that organization as my elder brother organization, and I deeply respect them. It's a wonderful thing that this oldest and most respected human rights organization is giving strong support to the Falun Gong movement. Speaking for myself, I feel a deep sense of solidarity with each of you standing here today and especially for those who are suffering in China today. The persecution of Falun Gong is one of the worst human rights abuses in the world. It is absolutely wrong. It must stop immediately. The United States Congress must do more to speak out against the persecution of Falun Gong. The United States President must speak out against the persecution of Falun Gong. Why is the Chinese government so afraid of Falun Gong? I know why. Because Falun Gong practitioners are spiritual people and they know that human beings are spiritual beings. And they are bringing their mind and body together as powerful spiritual beings. The Chinese government is motivated by the Marxist ideology and false and evil ideology. This ideology teaches that human beings are nothing but matter in motion, no better than an animal. Because the Chinese Communist ideology teaches that human beings are just animals, then they are, think it's okay to take out their body parts, their organs, and use them for research, even without the, the permission of those who died. What a horrible, disgusting crime the Chinese Communist regime is perpetrating against the, the members of Falun Gong today. Not only are they mining the body parts of Falun Gong practitioners, but even worse, they are attempting to destroy the spirit of the Falun Gong. But they cannot do it, no matter how many times they arrest them, to put them into re-education camps, torture them, even murder them. The spirit of Falun Gong is the human spirit, which is an eternal absolute spirit and it will never be defeated. Maybe it sounds like I'm a Falun uh, Dafa pr practitioner, but actually I'm not. <laughs> Just I know that human beings are spiritual beings and that truth will never be defeated by a lie. So I look at the Falun Gong members as I look at the ancient Christians who were persecuted and sometimes repressed by the Roman government. There were times when the Roman government was able to make the Christians become less in number. 
but because of the prayers of the, of the early Christians, because of their spiritual beliefs, because of their understanding that they will never, that they are not just their bodies, but they are eternal beings, they eventually prevailed. And I believe that Falun Gong will eventually prevail, religious freedom will eventually pre prevail, and China will emerge as a truly great nation in the world. Thank you.